Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install your non-Steam games uh, from GOG to your Steam Deck. So you might have some games on your GOG account and you want to play them on your Steam Deck. So you need to download Heroic Games Launcher. So go to your Discover Store, type Heroic and you can see this Heroic Games Launcher. I already have mine installed, so I can't install it. But um, if you don't install it, I'm just going to launch it here. Okay, so once you're in, uh, I already have my accounts. So go to Manage Accounts, and then you can log into your Epic Games Store, or your GOG, or your Amazon. So um, I've already logged in. That's why I can see my library. So you need to log in. So the demonstration I'm going to do today is my GOG account for um, The Witcher 3. Because I think I bought the game on PS4 and then uh, there was a problem. I'm not sure if it's still available. If you buy the game on PS4 and you link your PS4 account to GOG account, it recognizes it that you've already purchased it and they give you the PC version for free as well. So, yeah, okay, so I'll go to my library and then uh, I'm going to select GOG account only. So these are my games on GOG. So I've got The Witcher 3. And yeah, just install. And it's going to ask you, yes, I'm going to select English. And this is the path I'm going to install in Home Deck Games Heroic. And then uh default wine settings wine prefix okay so i think i'm just going to use the wine here and then wine version i think i'm going to go with proton experimental okay install so now it's just waiting to install um i think i'll fast forward this part so i'll see you once it's finished installing Okay, so finally installed. All right, so let's see the options. Okay, so we got, oh, we can use DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, I think. I think DirectX 12 had some issues when it launched. I think it's fixed now. I haven't really played it since then. All right, so I'm using Proton Experimental. So wine path is invalid. Please select another one. All right. Is it because I'm using Proton Experimental? All right, let's see if I use Hotfix. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to add, add to Steam. So I think this creates a shortcut to my Steam. So let's do that first. Okay, so it's added the shortcut. And then um, how do I get my save files? I have some save files in the in the cloud so let me see all right okay cloud sync save okay trying to detect the correct folder okay so let's just download my saves here's so if you have uh cloud save previously i think you can just press this download and it's syncing So it is the place to do it in the settings. And I think it takes a while because it's got to download it all. And my internet is pretty crappy. You can see I'm not getting a very good signal here. So yeah, let's forget about that for now. And let's just try to run the game. 
Oh, let's run in desktop mode. See if it works. All right. I'm using keyboard and mouse. I'm on desktop mode. Okay, so I got continue. Okay, I'm on the latest version as of now, 4.04. Is it 4.04? Is there 4.04a? I've been reading. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. I should have pressed load game to see my loads, my saves. A giant long ship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. I think I've, I've beaten the main game and I think the DLCs I've done a bit of it. I haven't completed all the DLCs. The blood and wine one, I think, and the hearts of stone or something like that. Okay. I think that's the direct X thing. Okay, let's try to change it to Dara X11. I think, yeah, I think it's because of the Dara I think there's a fix for it, but uh, I don't want to go into that right now. So let's just try to run the game in Dara X11. Okay. Okay, so, oh yeah, these are the saves that, I've got more saves, but I think because I didn't let it download them more, that's why, that's why I've only got these saves, because I've got some manual saves as well, remember. But yeah, let's just continue and see if we get this, if we get kicked out of the game. And then maybe in a separate video I'll do, like, how to fix the DirectX 12. I think it does work, DirectX 12. But yeah, let's just run it. Because this video is about, you know, how to install with the Heroic and get your GOG games. I don't have a really big library on GOG. I think I've only got this and Gwent. But some people might have a bigger library. And they want to play their library on on the Steam Deck. Oh yeah, see, so in, it works in Direct X eleven. Just uh, Direct X twelve doesn't work, like out of the bat. So okay, let's quit and see how it does in in desktop mode. All right, let's go to desktop mode. Oh no, sorry, game mode. Let's see how it goes in game mode. Okay, so let's go to our library, non-Steam, and let's find the shortcut, if I can. Oh yeah, I previously had it, that's why I've got two. I in uninstalled it, so the, 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 this one, I think they're both the same, they're both the same. Let me see. Yep, let's try to run this one.
All right. See, I'm using the controls now. I'm not using keyboard and mouse. Okay, so yeah, 4.4. All right. Seems good. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagal Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. This is a great game. One of the best. Okay. So you see, uh, I'm playing in game mode. Yeah, so that's how you do it. Uh, I'm going to leave the video here. So if you have any GOG games and you want to bring them, you want to install them on the Steam Deck and play, this is how you do it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.